Hey guys, welcome to Average Jays and welcome back to The Undertaker's Wrestlemania Streak. The Undertaker's seventh Wrestlemania was at Wrestlemania 14 on March 29, 1998 at the Fleet Centre in Boston to face his brother, Kane. The lead up to this match came from some bad blood between The Undertaker and his old manager, Paul Bearer. Paul told The Undertaker he would reveal The Undertaker's secret that secret being that The Undertaker burned his parents alive, but his younger brother Kane survived. At the end of the inaugural Hell in a Cell match at Bad Blood in your house, just as The Undertaker looked to have won the match against Shawn Michaels, the lights went out and a masked man came to the ring and delivered a tombstone power driver to the shocked Undertaker. The masked man was revealed to be Kane. Despite the animosity and the presence of Paul Bear Bearer, Undertaker vowed never to fight his little brother. Before the Undertaker's casket match with Shawn Michaels, D-Generation X claimed that Kane had joined them, but in fact he'd come to the ring to assist Undertaker. The alliance was short-lived, however, as during the Royal Rumble event, Kane came to the ring and locked Undertaker in a casket before setting it alight. On the March 2nd episode of Raw Is War, Kane's opponent, Stone Cold Steve Austin, was taken out by D-Generation X, and with nothing to do, Bearer ordered the timekeeper to deliver a 10-bell salute for the Undertaker's passing before telling Kane to tombstone Stone Cold Steve Austin. After he did, more bells were heard to the ring, this time signalling Undertaker's theme music. The ringing continued much longer than normal, with Bearer denying the possibility of it being The Undertaker. Eventually, a sarcophagus appeared on top of the ramp, and after lightning struck it, the Undertaker sat up before revealing that he had been through hell and talked to his parents to tell them that he would have to go back on his vow. The week before WrestleMania, Kane came to the ring and began to display similar supernatural powers as his brother, striking the Titan Tron with lightning as well as the announce table before striking a crew worker with lightning and setting him on fire. The Undertaker was shown on the same episode of Rory's War speaking to his parents' gravestone, revealing it may take the damnation of his soul to reunite the troubled family. In the actual match at WrestleMania 14, The Undertaker cornered Kane early on and threw a flurry of punches into him, ducking and reversing Kane's attempts until Kane hit him with a clothesline that he instantly sat up from. Paul Bearer kept the referee distracted while Kane landed the steel steps onto The Undertaker and repeated the effort a second time while, his, while The Undertaker was laying onto the steps, crushing him between. As the referee tried to keep Kane in check, Bearer slapped The Undertaker while walking past him. Kane delivered a choke slam to The Undertaker, but lifted his shoulders off the mat before the three count could be made putting him into a sleep hold that The Undertaker eventually fought out of with another flurry of punches. The Undertaker then dropped Kane on top of the ropes and punched him off to the apron. He followed this up with an over the top rope 
suicide dive that Kane managed to sidestep, sending The Undertaker crashing through the announce table. As The Undertaker made it back into the ring, Kane hit him with a flying lariat. Undertaker tried to give Kane the tombstone pile driver, but Kane managed to weigh himself backward onto his own feet and deliver the tombstone to The Undertaker himself, but The Undertaker kicked out. The Undertaker then chokeslammed Kane and then delivered a tombstone pile driver of his own, but Kane kicked out. It would eventually take three tombstones with a guillotine leg drop and a flying clothesline in between to stop Kane kicking out and sitting up. Kane being the first man to ever kick out of two tombstone pile drivers. But as soon as the match was over, Bearer attacked Undertaker and ordered Kane to attack him, which he did with chair shots to the head and then a tombstone pile driver on top of the chair. After Kane and Bearer left, The Undertaker sat up and left the arena. This win making The Undertaker 7 for 0 at WrestleMania. In the next episode of The Streak, we see The Undertaker take on Big Boss Man in a Hell in a Cell match at WrestleMania 15. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any feuds you'd like us to cover, drop a comment. Thank you for watching and join us next time.